All right, happy Thursday, May 12th. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon, and I'm out in the backyard here with the uh, Craftsman Pro Series mower. I bought this last Friday from uh, Sears up in Allison Park, PA. Um, the only place around that actually had it in stock at the time. And it's got the 223cc engine, the 9.5 torque, the twin blades, you know, basically the same as the Troy built, basically the same as the Cub Cadet almost. Um, you know, I had test driven the Time Master and uh, didn't like it. It was severely underpowered. Uh, my grass is very thick and fertilized, and uh, it just doesn't cut it here. So I got to borrow that from a local hardware store, which was really cool. A lot of people don't have that option. Um, it just didn't work well. So I wanted to try this guy because it's a more powerful engine, and I got to say it cuts good. Um, you know, this grass is uh, is pretty thick and it's fertilized and right now it's wet because it just rained you can see um, as far as how deep it is right now it's down to about halfway down my hand so it's uh, pretty deep and I went ahead and cut some trimming lines I'm not sure if you can see in the video or not um, I had already cut like around the garage and around the the, the garden box beds and stuff like that trying to give myself a head start here um, show you where it's at now I had this thing running before and uh, it's still hot and when you when you start it from cold it's always started on the first pull so I don't know you know what this is going to uh, what this is going to do as far as starting it the second time around but let's see if it'll start on one pool again. Nope. Alright. Set that up here like that. And I'm going to do some lines in the yard here let you guys see how this thing actually cuts. And this is going to be mulching. I don't have no discharge chute. And the mower doesn't come with a bag. So we're going to do this all on mulching.
All right, so that's it. Um, as you can see, it did not take long at all to cut this grass. It's not a huge yard either, don't forget. But for me, with the silly schedule that I work, having this was just about an absolute must. Um, this grass was wet. It just rained last night. I got home from work about 4 in the morning, and uh, you know it was wet out here. So it's 84 degrees right now. And it's dry, you know, the patio is dry and everything, but you know, the grass is still wet. And this was on mulching. I'm not sure if you heard it, but the mower did burp a little bit coming down that one end. I'm not sure if I bumped something or what, but uh, in general, the thing cuts really well. You can see there's grass on the mower. Um, Underneath it looks pretty clean. The blades are clean. The blades aren't caked up with any gunk. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely very happy with this machine. Uh, with the actual um, one uh, lever height adjustment option, it allows you to uh, set the deck really quickly. I try to cut at about three inches. I like my grass a little bit higher than the average person. Um, some people like to scalp their grass. I don't like that. But, uh, yeah. This is just what I wanted to show you guys. Because there's, like I said, no videos out there that are showing this right now. And one thing no one else I don't think has shown, and maybe they did. Um, you put your foot on this right here. And you can put this in a vertical uh, storage position. So it saves space for you. Now the, the um, striper unit does stick out a little bit, but really not that much further than the handle. And if you want to stow it, push down with your foot and go straight forward with this thing. And it'll actually lay straight down like that. And that's actually how um, this thing came out of the box. It was just like this. The only assembly required was for you to Tighten this handle here, tighten this one, then lift. It locks into the upright position, then you use your foot, push down. I mow in the second highest position, which is here, and I believe there's one more. Yeah, if you're short, you can uh, go all the way down to that position there, which is way too small for me. But, uh, yeah. All the way up or in the position that I use which is right here you know a drive system is pretty easy to use I have tree rings and mulch beds up in the front of the house which I'm not filming right now but what I do is I keep one hand on the drive and I put the other hand on this bar the standard handle and it allows me to maneuver the mower real easily around the uh, mulch beds while still being able to control the drive. So the speed for me is adequate. I mean I was actually walking doing that grass cutting faster than I would normally cut it um, just to kind of prove a point. And you can see the stripes from the striper. They look really nice. Um, you know I didn't cut the back back part of the yard because I only do that once every few cuts. No one ever goes back there anyway. Um, but overall I'm very happy with this purchase. You know, I, if having a bag is important to you, then you may want to consider the Troy Built. Um, you, know, you can buy the bag for this mower. It's $199.99 from Sears. Um, but for me, I don't bag. I just mulch. If I ever have use for the bag, I'll go out and I'll probably invest in the kit for it. But the color scheme on this is better than the Troy Built. I'm not a huge fan of red for anything. You know, this one looks a lot nicer. Um, and basically, it's the same mower. Probably all made by MTD anyway. Um, but yeah, feel free to uh, comment, ask any questions. If anybody has uh, any questions, like I said, I'll be happy to answer them. But, you know, basically, I just wanted to show you guys how this thing really can cut. So I hope everybody has a great day. And uh, have a nice weekend. See you all soon.